All right, so we're back here in the dungeon, and um, hopefully the lights won't do funny stuff with the cameras, um, or with the camera. <laughs> Multiple cameras, you just can only see one view. Um, so anyway, uh, I want to thank my boy John at LTL Interviews, and by the way, if you haven't checked out LTL Interviews yet, make sure to do that. Uh, really good channel. He's got um, a few really good videos, and I say that because I'm one of them. Ha ha, ho ha ha. But uh, anyway, check those out. Uh, good stuff. Good people he's been interviewing, uh, and he's got some cool stuff planned in the near future, so make sure to go over there, subscribe to it, and uh, that way you'll know when he does put out something new. Um, so he sent me a cure package, cool necklace. Uh, it's like a urban camo crucifix, which is really neat. Um, he sent me some D's bullets, which are also really neat. Um, so, you know, I'm married to BK of BK Kinetics, so I can't brag too much on other people's ammo, but for printed ammo, this is actually pretty sweet looking. I haven't tested it yet or anything, but I was actually pleasantly surprised with it. I've heard a lot of people really raving about the D's bullets, and, and honestly, I see why. It's nice looking ammo. Um, wait, l let me make sure. For printed ammo... Love you, babe. Um, <laughs> so anyway, um, we've got some uh, Alien Play uh, 68 caliber balls. I'm going to change the focus. Oh, it actually wasn't locked. Wow, I'm surprised it wasn't going crazy. So it's really, really neat the way these look. It's kind of a, almost looks like granite or something. I don't know, but they're cool. Um, and then they weigh... 7.24, so 7.24 grams. Let me check a couple more just to make sure they, that one's 7.23, 7 7.24, 7 7.23. So 7.23, 7.24, um, that's pretty cool. I really like the way those look. So anyway, Ooh, ooh, ooh. Heck, might as well test it out. But first of all, and I've had this stuff for a couple days. I was kind of waiting until I could test the bullets and stuff, but I realized that Halloween and everything else going on, I got to just, you know, do what I got to do when I can do it. So I wanted to say thanks, and I'll get to testing those when I have a little more time. Um, so he also sent me this, which I'm really excited about. And... Because I am a I am a knife guy. That is a really nice knife too. So it's a Odin Wolf. That is really nice. Very good grip. If anybody comes at you trying to stab you like that, then just beat their butt because they don't know what they're doing. So anyway, um, nice sheath. I really dig that. Oh, and it clips, so it's easy to put on and off. All right, good times. Thanks again, John. I really appreciate it. And. Uh, that will probably actually get some use. All right. I, I won't kill anybody with it or anything. But. So, uh, or will I? It is Halloween. Almost tomorrow. For those of you that are watching this late, it might be Halloween right now. All right. So we're going to put six in there. One in the pipe. And, uh, can't stress enough. Make sure to turn this thing backwards and get your get your threads lined up, because it will strip pretty easily. I would figure. All right, so well, that wasn't good. Well, guys, she's dead. So I guess this is the postmortem. I resemble that remark. <laughs> uh, what are you going to do? Um, 
I saw, I'm sorry if I left that video a little longer. I mean, it was only like five minutes, but I really didn't want to just chop out the part where the thing failed. Um, well, for one thing, I'd already recorded the stuff about LTL interviews, and for another thing, you know, I don't know. I just wanted to leave it whole. <laughs> so I did cut off the intro, uh, you know, this part of it before. But now that that happened, I needed an outro. So, <laughs> you know, whatever. So anyway, here we are. I took all the stuff off of it. Um, after I stopped the video, uh, I did, well, I didn't stop the video. I'm, I'm cutting the video off after the first couple of attempts. I tried a couple more times. Uh, never could get it to work. More lube, whatever. Um, didn't, didn't work. Um, so I was going to take it apart and try to fix it myself, but I thought to myself, self, cause that's what I call myself. I thought to myself, self, um, what if you was somebody that didn't do this? an airsmith, as I believe my friend Greg has coined the term. Um, so I thought, well, I'm going to go about it the way that 90% of the people that would buy one of these would. So I'm going to contact Mercury Rise. So I sent them an email before I made this. Um, haven't heard anything back, but it's an email and, you know, it's just a little bit ago. So we'll see how everything goes. I'll keep you guys updated. Um, so for now, I'll just kind of twiddle my thumbs. <laughs> All right, y'all, this is DK Spencer. Y'all like and subscribe.